You guys ready? I did good. I had my first remote season. What's up, people? Good morning. Uh, had to step away from social media for a week just to do a little detox, but uh, I'm back. Now, recap from last week. We didn't have that good of a week as a team. We got swept our last series, and we we won two, two out of three, uh, the series that we had at home earlier last week. But now uh, we have a full week here at home, so I'm excited for that. Quick little story, since COVID's still a thing, and uh, it's getting pretty bad here back home in Mexico, I decided to uh, rent a place for the next, for the remainder of the season. Just uh, just to keep my family safe, because I was living with my family, but um, I don't want to. I want. I don't want to put them in danger, because we're traveling all over the place, and we don't know what what uh what what people are doing, and you know, COVID is a pretty serious thing. It's a really serious thing, so I didn't want to take that risk, and uh, yeah, so I decided to get my get my own place for the remainder of the season, and uh, the team helped me. I'm grateful for that, and uh, yeah, now I'm here already, and uh. Right now, I just got done working out, and uh, I'm gonna do my little protein shake. And uh, the games got moved earlier. That's uh, that's sick. I love it. We're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get home at a decent time. Yeah, game two is at five right now. It's twelve o'clock. I'm probably gonna hit the field at like one thirty, just to make sure I get enough uh, stretch, enough uh, swings in, and all that stuff. I'm gonna prepare my little protein shake. They didn't have berries yesterday at the freaking at the supermarket. So it's gonna be pretty basic, just uh, half of banana, some vanilla, two scoops of whey protein, and uh, just a take of water out. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some yogurt as well. Why? Because why not? The protein is pretty tasty. So let's see how it turns out. Because um, this Greek yogurt, it's not tasty at all. Has zero sugar, zero sugar, but uh, great source of protein. So we'll see. We'll see how it tastes. I should work at a smoothie place, honestly. Just bomb. <laughs> and also, look at this. So my sister is selling cookies for the holidays. She is really good at, in the kitchen, especially when it comes to like desserts and past pastries and stuff. Got a whole bunch of orders for my teammates. I had to buy her a package and I just crushed it yesterday, so. Game time, baby, let's get it right now. Performing all my stretches before the game. I uh, have a pretty pretty good routine that I do before I play. Just get me loose and stuff and uh, I'll show you guys some, some of it. And also, in honor of all the medical staff that has helped help get through all this COVID uh, and all that stuff, we're honoring them by wearing these jerseys. It's like a doctor's uniform. It's pretty pretty neat. I like it. And that's the ball game, 3-1. We won 3-1. It was a great game. Uh, our starter, Juan Pablo Rama, is a great six, six innings, one run, seven Ks. He got, what, five hits off him? Yeah, great game. Uh, bullpen was lights out, seven, eight, and nine were lights out. Their pitcher did a really good job too. He had a ton of strikeouts, he struck me out. I had a good uh, good piece off him my first at bat, but uh, I got caught at the wall. Yeah, great game. Uh, tomorrow, game's early. I'm just gonna eat dinner and uh, I'll probably watch a movie or something and uh, chill for a little bit, try to get a good recovery for tomorrow. I had really, no, actually I had pretty decent recovery. Uh, today I was uh, I was 55%, so it's not too bad. Hope to see that green tomorrow for my recovery. I wanted to go get some electrolytes at, at a convenience store, but everything is everything closes at eight due to COVID. Even like supermarkets, convenience stores, like 7-Eleven and stuff like that, they close at eight, which is not, it's not very convenient, you know? Uh, but tomorrow the game's at two, I wake up and I head to the field. And um, yeah, good night guys. What's up guys? Uh, it's Friday, it's start of a new series. It was a really good series by Bananajeros. This last one, we won two out of three. Pitching was phenomenal the first two days. And now uh, I'm getting my morning morning coffee in. Uh, I'm waiting for my hitting, my hitting uh, coach. He came from uh, 
I brought him from Tucson for today and tomorrow because I need to work on some uh, low stuff. I feel like it's a little off on my hitting. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to work with, with him and uh, get my swing right. So you can see it's a little outdoor bedding cage. It's really cool. I, I, worked, I, I worked out here all throughout quarantine. So uh, yeah, I got a got really, really good work here for like for like two months. I haven't been here since freaking uh, what July. So yeah, miss this place. So hitting is done. I felt what I needed to feel. He, uh, it was a great idea. It was such a good idea. I'm not asking him if you can come. He's the best in the business. He's, he knows my swing better than, than myself, honestly. Best hitting coach, best mentor. His name is Luis Valenzuela. His Instagram, I'm gonna leave it right here, Nogales Roadrunners. Um, go check him out, follow him. He's a, he does really good, really, really amazing things with kid, uh, kids down in Tucson. So uh, yeah, go give him a follow, give him some love. Luis Valenzuela, shout out. Good morning, people. New day. Yesterday we lost. We lost five four. It was a it was a good game. We had the lead. We went back and forth. But yeah, we ended up losing. Uh, they hit a they hit a two run home run against us uh, in the seventh to take the lead, and we couldn't score anymore. Uh, personally, I did good. I hit my first home run season, so that was hype still. Uh, it would have been better if we were one. Same thing today. Uh, the game's gonna be at six. Back back to normal time. Right now, I'm on my way for my COVID testing. I feel fine. I don't feel anything, any symptoms. My body feels great, so I'm not I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do again a little nice little 30 minute workout when I get to the field, and uh, then get ready for the game. COVID testing is all done. I've been running some errands all morning. Now it's 1.30. I'm gonna make myself some uh, steak and eggs to go uh, for lunch, take, take to the field. Uh, I'm gonna do a shake, uh, cause I wanna work out before the game. Three eggs. Uh, I don't know how much steak it is. It's a good amount, it's a good amount of steak. Good amount of gains. I'll show you guys the trick here in a sec. Frozen, frozen fruit. You guys ready? Steak and eggs, steak eggs. Frozen shake, we're all good. I'm gonna do my, my daily 10 minute meditation here right now and then I'm gonna head to the field. Right now, I'm on my way to the field. Well, first, I'm gonna stop by a OXO, which is like kind of like the 7 Eleven here in Mexico, and get some uh, suetos and get water, and then go to the field. My sister tried to be funny and she put uh, this little pinata in my car. And uh, the plan for today, when I get to the field, the game's at 7 30, and our show up time is 6 30. But uh, I mean, it's 3 o'clock. I'm gonna show up early, do a little workout. Can't lag on that, can't be can be skipping workouts then do my stretching and mobility routine and get ready for the game all right here we are probably not gonna lift heavier today probably i got squats but uh i think i'm gonna do around 60 percent of my my max it's eccentric so i gotta go five seconds down and uh yeah i should get a nice little pump and get ready for the game i'll show you guys a little bit of my workout Pre-game lift is done. Now, I think it's like two hours and a half before the game. Uh, gonna go chill in the locker room. I'm not gonna do anything for 30 minutes, then I'm gonna start doing my mobility routine and stuff to get ready for the game. But that was a good pre-game lift, and uh, hope you guys liked it. It was uh, quick, but it was very, very needed, very useful, so yeah.